Hello awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another video from myself, Vapo. This is going to be Liquid Bunny versus Acer's Bly. Now, Bunny, Team Liquid, obviously, as I mentioned, he is from Denmark. Our Zerg player, Bly, he is obviously on <laughs> Acer, as the names suggest, and he's from the Ukraine. So good luck, have fun thrown out by Bunny, being the all usual friendly guy. Good, good luck, thrown out by Bly. So let's have a look at the production tab, see how we're going to start here. Going to have a block off on the natural expansion for Bunny. Now, I have a request for you guys in this one. I'm actually going to be doing this over the next few videos. Uh, I'm pretty much bribing you guys to try to get me a new channel art. So, the requirements for the channel art is 2560 by 1440 resolution, and it has to be a maximum of 4 megabyte size. I'm basically looking for something cool, something StarCraft related, obviously, to, you know, make up for the fact that it is a StarCraft channel from now on. And uh, my response to this is, whoever suggests to me the best one is going to get a prize. The prize is going to be a choice of two different things, which could potentially land you with three different games. So I have spare codes for when I bought graphics card uh, cards. Uh, those are for either a choice between Rainbow Six Siege or Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Or alternatively, I can get you a copy of Legacy of the Void itself, which is of course the game we're watching. If you're interested in that, then of course I will get you a copy of that instead. So that is pretty much that. All you really have to do is, if you look on my channel on the About section, there's going to be a business query um, email. And it's just going to ask you to put in a capture just to make sure you're not a robot. And the email is actually vggaming or sorry, vgqueries at gmail.com. If you can send on any of your suggestions, I will reply to one of you and I will also announce who wins it with the new image brought probably on one of my videos as well, just to kind of announce who is the winner and who gets the game. So it's going to be pretty much the first giveaway that I'm going to do since my channel has come back. Um, I mean, I haven't really done anything as of yet because my channel was still growing and chances are if I would have started any giveaways, I would have had maybe one response. So I hope to see some suggestions from you guys, some input, and of course any comments and suggestions in the comments are also appreciated. Uh, and I'm also going to start to potentially start giving away random copies of StarCraft 2 every now and then, and that really depends on how well my channel continues to grow. If I do see some significant growth, I will be doing it a lot more often, it just depends on the growth. So obviously as you can be imagine, I am a YouTube partner, so I do get a little bit of money out of the fact that I'm casting, I can't really disclose how much. But if, uh, if my channel starts growing, I will start be giving back to the community what I'm getting out of it. And hopefully that will be pretty awesome for you guys as well as myself. So it does look like Bunny is interested in expanding very shortly. There is the, the command center coming down now. The Overlord just about to come here and scout. There's actually only three barracks up at the time, at the, at the moment. So it does look like this harassment from Bunny is going to continue on over and over. And the question is going to be, how much is he going to be able to commit into it? This one queen is very low, so he can't really make that much use of it. There is a few roaches on the field as well, so it's going to be a dangerous point for him to try to continue this. One bit of miss micro there does end up losing him a Reaper. Going to just zoom out a little bit to show the Reapers themselves. There is, what, a total of five left on the field. And okay, he does appear to be building reactors. Now the question is going to be, is he going to start pumping Reapers out of that, or is he going to start with something else? I assume that he's going to tech out of it, because he is getting himself the stim pack. And there we go, another command center. So he's, a, he's thinking of a third expansion already. Which I suppose is a good response to the Roaches, because as you can see, there we go, these Reapers are now completely cleaned up, and this is actually a prime position for Bly to respond and basically counterattack him here. Which I believe is exactly what he's going to do. There you go, you see these Roaches now, or these Zerglings and the one Ravager, just running straight out of the base, right into the opponent's base. And the question is going to be, is Bunny going to be able to get enough units to defend this in time? And the question, or the answer is going to be... Potentially, potentially not. He doesn't have a huge amount of units. Just a few marines. And now the Ravager is here. And this is the problem with early rushes. As you can see now, Bunny did, or Bly did start off with a second base quite early, so he didn't get affected by this too much. Once he was able to defend against the Reapers, at that point, he was just able to 
pump out units and now is in a prime position to potentially win this game straight out. So this one barracks is going to get destroyed here. He is lifting it off, possibly to repair it. Losing the reactor. Now this also means that the block is now completely gone. So it is going to be a little bit of a tough situation for Bunny. One supply depot getting taken out there. So these uh, Ravagers are now causing a whole lot of problems for him. There we go. He does decide to run in here. I'm not sure if two bunkers is going to be enough to defend it. I don't believe so. He's probably going to break down this bunker and then get taken out. And it doesn't appear like he has any more units streaming in here. So he is going to have to back off now. The stim going off in the Marines. I do believe he's probably going to want to chase these guys down. Simply because... They are such easy kills. There we go. Two Ravagers taken out. This one Overlord just sitting, standing behind. Doesn't look like he can see anything as of yet. And there is a third command center here as you see. It's already prepared. He does have the one... Sorry, it's not no longer 111. It's four barracks to... Or three barracks to a starport. Okay, and he's got double medevac coming out. So the question is going to be, is he going to start pumping out... Marines. Now, one thing I noticed here as well, it, it's quite strange. He's not blocking this off again, which could leave him quite vulnerable if he decides to move out and there's going to be a stream of Zerglings coming out. Double Evolution Chamber coming out also. Going to probably start pumping update upgrades out of that. It does look like he's opting for ranged attacks. So second one is probably going to be Carabas as soon as he decides to do that. The gold third expansion is, or second expansion, is going to be saturated very, very shortly. And at the moment, he's not looking like any sort of heavy tech. He doesn't have this, the 5th and 6th gas geysers as of this time. But it's going to be interesting to see if he decides to start going for... ...for Mutilus. Now, Combat Shields is almost complete, as you can see on the right-hand side here. These Marines are going to start streaming down here. Going to be able to take this Queen out. Absolutely no problem. Um, are they? Yes, they do. They do get it out. So, 3... Three drones taken out so far. We're going to see how this progresses. Four drones. Lifts them on up and moves them away. Now the full saturation here. That was pretty nice hiding of the drones there. Just absolutely squishing them into the corner. And landing in this expansion. Absolutely cleaning up everything. This is brilliant position for Liquid Bunny right now. He's taking out this expansion fully. Going to be able to clean up this Zerg. Possibly do some damage to this hatchery. Although I don't think he's going to be able to kill it. Gonna lift off again, and this is a scary position for Bly right now. He has so much damage being done to him through this marine drop, and he's not really able to respond to it. He doesn't have any hydras, which would really be of benefit to him just to take these medevacs out. So he's doing a little bit of damage, backing up, a little bit of damage, backing up. I mean, this was quite significant. He took out the whole expansion. But other than that, he's now in a pretty bad position because Liquid Bunny has got his uh, second expansion up already and a lot of marines also. There we go, we do have this medevac still flying around, slowly getting taken out, but of course, by the time they destroyed us, he could do a lot of other damage by then. Another drop heading on out here. He has a lot of medevacs at this point. Just bring up how many there is. There's six in total. Two siege tanks, 37 marines. Actually, they're getting cleaned up here. Infestation pit on the field. This is going to be an infestor play, it looks like. Now, the infestor is simply there to catch out the, the medevacs. You'll be able to, to uh, fungal growth into a corrosive bile from the ravagers. Just instantly one-shotting the, or three-shotting the medevacs. That's exactly what he needs to do right now. It's a good response. It's going to be interesting to see if he's going to be able to get himself out of it. Because right now, as, I, as I'm as i looking at it, he is at a big disadvantage. I assume economically also. Uh, just a little bit economically disadvantaged. Not too, nothing significant. So at this point, it's pretty much anyone's game. The only thing I would say is there is a fourth command center coming down for Bunny. Which, if he lands this before... Ooh, a hive coming out. Interesting. So maybe he's not going to go for an Infestor Plate. Looks like he might be transitioning into Ultralisks. He does have level 2 Carapace going down. So it is really going to be interesting. Is he going to transition into Ultralisks? Because if he does, this Marine push is going to get absolutely wrecked. There's going to be very little that, that Bunny would be able to do 
if Bly decides to go for those Ultralisks. As you all are aware, Marines 7 damage with 1 upgrade. If they have 3 upgrades, they have a total of 9 damage and the Ultralisks will have 8 armor. 8 armor is ridiculous difficult to break through with Marines only. He obviously does have some siege tanks, but I mean, think of it. If they do 50 damage without any upgrades, which nobody ever gets, well, there we go. He's actually getting level 1, but rarely do people actually max out on upgrades on, on siege, uh, siege uh, units. If he doesn't have, let's say, if he only has one upgrade, I assume it's going to do about 52, 53 damage. And at that point, I mean, he still only does about 40 damage to an Ultralisk. That means that the Ultralisk needs about 10 hits to get taken out. And there we go, the fourth hatchery coming out for Bly. But this this command center is already up, and it's actually being turned into a planetary fortress as well, so not going to be able to destroy this with any small harassment. This mineral line getting cleaned up a little bit, not too much. He did actually squeeze all of his drones into one pile there, just to prevent them from getting taken out, and he does end up saving about 11 of them, so very, very good play there. This one hatchery is getting slowly whittled down. I do believe that he's going to be able to defend this in time before any significant damage is done. Fungal goats are not thrown down. And this is where Bunny is going to start his push. Now I don't think he has enough units to actually defend against this. These marines and medevacs are all going to get taken out if they're not careful. Gonna want to whittle away now. Fungal growth just hitting a few marines there. Not quite sure if it was worth it. It's only about five of them in total. And now he was going to want to back off and build up his units. I do think that he really needs to transition out of this um, marine play right now. Now, the the Ultralisk Cavern has just been finished, in case you saw that on the production tab. Chitinous Plating is on the way also. And he is going to spot this medevac. He's going to move out from behind. This medevac also obviously spotted these units. Now, it would be a little bit difficult to break through this. There is a planetary fortress here. And of course the units available also. Now a good response from Bunny here is he does have a bunch, a bunch of ghosts on, already on the field. Now let's have a look at the steady targeting. It's 1.43 seconds and it's 170 damage. So three of these actually destroy an Ultralisk. And he's obviously predicting that Ultralisk are going to be happening here. Now just doing a little bit of economic damage in each corner now obviously Bly is already prepared with roaches on every side just ready to pretty much defend against any sort of um, marine aggression now I really like the way the Ultralisk Cavern looks it's so cool it's like two eyes are bulging and then it has a mouth here very very cool very good design but there we go we do have a sensor tower I believe that it would have possibly been better over here or you know somewhere around here where he can definitely predict well in advance when the the enemy is coming because the, the zerg units are generally a bit faster than the terran ones unless of course he stims now there we go we do have the ultras they now have seven armor no eight armor on the way as of yet but he does have two more ultras he does have level one attack as well And Aspire going down as well. I'm assuming he's just going to throw out about 6 or 7 Mutalists out of that. Oh, a nuke going down. This is something you don't see every day. Where is it? Where's the ghost? Oh, it got destroyed, did it? It does appear that it got destroyed pretty much instantly. There we go. Ghosts are going down now. Just to basically nuke away a few of the Ultralisks. Gonna take out these... These Spore Crawlers. I'm not quite sure why he even placed them there. Not the greatest of position. Maybe for detection. Okay, so he's using his siege tanks to basically just sit there. Now this ghost is going to get taken out again. Not going to have enough damage or health to survive. And there we go. The Ultralisk engaged. There's going to be a lot of ghost snipes going down. Most of the Ultralisks have already been taken out. One remaining. And it is now being sniped also. Taken out at this point. And now the engage is finishing up. And the Zerg is looking to come down on the bottom here. Or rather the other way around. Terran has come around on top does continue to push and I believe that this is going to be the end of this expansion yes the hatchery has been taken down it's not even close to mind out so he's definitely gonna want to get this back up does have a hatchery already prepared here for the spill overspill of drones which he's gonna want to move down again more ultras coming out and starting to get sniped very very quickly by these 
ghosts, it does cost 50 energy to snipe every time. So the more longer these ghosts are up, the longer they'll be able to snipe. And a GG is called by Bly. Liquid Bunny taking the first game between this best of three. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the next game. Hi guys, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. This is was game number one between Bunny and Bly. Uh, so that's pretty much it. You saw the announcement at the start for the giveaway of one of the three games, whichever one you choose. Uh, my social media links are on the right here. If you want to follow me, of course, do so. My subscription button is underneath my face and of course underneath the video, the usual one. And that's pretty much it. I'll end it here. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.